Hi, I'm Jason. I'm here to talk with you about member roles. And I've logged into Luke University, which is the fictitious college alumni group, and I have admin access to that group. Now, because I have admin access, I see these columns here, events, meetings, news, chats. And these are all roles that I can assign to one or more individuals. And this is for both security as well as to distribute the workload of maintaining the organization. All of is a role-based security system. So I can assign uh, Angela and Candice the events role in the Luke University alumni account. And that gives them the ability to add, edit, and delete entries in events. Same with meetings. They now have the ability to add, edit, and delete entries in the meetings section. Now once I make all my changes, I have to click Save down here. Now the news role, I'm going to go ahead and give that to Carol and Jeffrey. So they now have the ability to add, edit, and delete news entries in the account. Now chats is a little different because everyone can participate in chats, but this gives selected individuals the ability to edit and delete chat entries because sometimes wrong information is posted and then sometimes some chats uh, postings need to be deleted. So I'm going to give that to Carol and Jeffrey as well. Now the members section, uh, this gives someone the ability to enable and disable roles for others as well as gives them the ability to uh, see all their contact information. So I'm going to go give that to Carol and Jeffrey as well. So to view all contact information, I can just click View, and all their contact information appears. Now, the admin role, which is what I have, gives me all the other roles, plus uh, special functions in the About section, which is the organization profile, and that's covered in another tutorial. And you can assign the admin role to additional people as well. I have it because I've created this organization, and you can assign it to others as well. Now, with the member role and admin role, you do have the ability not only to view all the contact information, but you can also remove members from the group. You also have the ability to send text messages to members, and that's covered in a different tutorial. You can also import members, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So right now, by default, individuals can create a personal account and then find your organization or request membership. But as an organization, you do have the ability to mass import your member list. And that will automatically create their Allaware account and automatically join them to your organization. So you do this by creating a text file that has the first name, last name, and email address uh, separated by commas. You import the file, and over a period of time, uh, perhaps 10, perhaps 20 minutes, it will create all those accounts and send an email to everyone. And it will mention your name, the person who imported the file, and the organization's name as um, as the sender of this email, letting them know that their account was created. Now with the member role and admin role, you also have the ability to export all the member information as well as export all financial transactions that have taken place in the account. Alright, and that's the member section and how to manage member roles. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.